Gunfire near the White House. A man pulls a gun on a Secret Service officer who opens fire. In the past hour, the lockdown on the White House was lifted. Still a lot of questions though remain. The shooting happened along 17th Street. ABC's Karen Travers is at the White House, live right now with new information. Karen? Good evening, Diana and Sade. The White House is no longer on lockdown, but it was a very dramatic, intense scene here for about an hour, a significant show of force from Secret Service agents. Just after 3 o'clock, a man approached a security checkpoint on the outside edge of the White House. It's important to note it was not inside the White House complex, but outside on the perimeter. The agent, he was brandishing a weapon. A uniformed Secret Service officer told him to put it down. The man refused to do that and began to brandish it. A Secret Service officer shot one time, wounding the suspect. The suspect was then taken into custody, and Secret Service personnel performed first aid before the suspect was taken to a local hospital for treatment. Diana and Sade, this is a very busy tourist time here at the White House. It's a beautiful day in Washington. There were plenty of people around near the White House, outside this area. Here's what one eyewitness had to say. My father tells us that he all of a sudden sees this guy that was very close to the fence dropped down on the floor. And that's when he told us, hey, 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 be careful. I think somebody just shot, got, got shot. Everybody be careful. Now, when this lockdown was put into effect, the press was told to get off of this area here at the North Lawn. Staff was told to stay inside the West Wing complex. The president is not here right now. He left the White House at about 1 o'clock for an outing off campus. He is still not returned from that, but White House officials say he was made aware of the situation. Reporting live from the White House, Karen Travers, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.